Hey Top Gun Options traders and investors, Matt Buckley calls on Wiz, the primary model portfolio manager here at TGO. And uh, seeing a little bit of a respite from the sell-off, the absolutely bloodletting that we saw in yesterday's market. So kind of seeing a, a relief sideways today in the market. Really, uh, the, the market's kind of in a wait-and-see mode here. Yeah, U.S. home sales hit fastest pace since 2000, yawn. Uh, the market's going to be looking today towards uh, these two things. The uh, Well, obviously, the Fed funds rate is a no-brainer. Bernanke said he's going to keep it low until mid-2015. But the FOMC statement that comes out uh, accompanying uh, the rate decision, it, we're, we're really going to have to see... Uh, uh, what the what, what's on the Fed's radar? Meaning, the media and of, of course I've used this term as well. QE3 infinity. It isn't QE3 infinity, folks. Uh, if you actually read what the chairman said when he announced QE3 infinity, so to speak, he said that he was going to uh, continue buying 40 billion dollars a month in mortgage-backed securities until what unemployment improved. Well, guess what? Last month's unemployment number, or, or last month's numbers uh, for the month prior, uh, were absolutely uh, a complete lie, in my opinion, dropping from uh, uh, to 7.8 from 8.1 percent. But I digress. Uh, so, if the unemployment market's improving, like we saw out of some weekly jobless claims, which again were skewed and wrong, uh, but I digress. Um, what's the Fed going to do? So, it's going to be interesting to see what the Fed has to say about unemployment and whether or not they see uh, unemployment conditions improving. This will be a very dissected announcement this afternoon. Obviously, uh, both parties can, uh, can, can peel this apart for what they will, whether or not the unemployment picture is getting better or worse. We know what the deal is, folks. The highest level of uh, people on food stamps uh, in our nation's history. Unemployment, uh, as you know, real unemployment, uh, U6, not U3, which is a politician uh, number, but U6 is up there around 15-16%, which is just absolutely uh, unsustainable. So that's what I'm going to be looking at uh, on our radar today. Everything else is looking pretty good. The VIX, uh, obviously this week, uh, our altimeter, our barometer as options traders, just had a has had an awesome couple of days. Obviously, yesterday was a, a ginormous rally uh, in the VIX, and we're seeing it pull back a little bit here. At Topkin Options, we're using the VIX to be both uh, long and short volatility right now. We're actually selling vol uh, right now because it's uh, expensive. When vol is cheap, you buy it. When it's expensive, you sell it. So right now, uh, you know, we, we bought uh, down here, uh, I've been telling Top Gun Options traders to load up on volatility when the VIX is around 13 and a half, 14 bucks, and true to form, it peaks up here uh, historically at about 18, uh, and then cats and dogs end up living together, and it it, it heads back down here into the the lower teens. Uh, not saying that that's going to happen again, but uh, it. The VIX is a mean reverting instrument, uh, meaning it reverts to its mean. So uh, kind of like y you can see kind of the, uh, the the moving average convergence, divergence, we're kind of getting close to a sell signal on the VIX. So uh, at least here at Top Gun Options, we're going to be selling some volatility. I don't see the VIX spiking uh, any higher than uh, 20, uh, you know, we might see a little bit more of a volatility run-up coming uh, into the election, especially based on this absolutely impeachable uh, news that we saw this morning that the uh, uh, the White House knew within two hours uh, that the attack uh, was uh, based on terrorists. And here's what's even... Uh, and so re read the emails, folks. Don't listen to me. Read the physical emails that have been released. Uh, the White House knew within two hours. And guess what? They had a Marine FAST, F-A-S-T, uh, response team in Italy, about an hour and a half, two hours away, max, by air. Uh, and some Special Forces folks and some Navy SEALs that could have been uh, on scene within a couple hours uh, and potentially rescued uh, folks that were getting killed. Absolutely unbelievable. If this was a, a Republican, uh, people would be storming the White House right now, or uh, Democratic senators would be calling for the President's resignation. The media is being complicit, and you're not hearing a word about it. And uh, they're gonna they're gonna try and get our dear leader reelected, and uh, it's gonna be absolutely unsatisfactory if he gets reelected. But anyway, so let's take a look at the rest of the week. Like I said, today Wednesday, the biggest thing is the FOMC announcement. Uh, tom on tomorrow's flight schedule, we obviously have weekly unemployment uh, claims, but we also have some uh, core durable goods, and then strip out some of the core stuff, and we have regular durable goods. Those will be uh, market moving events and pending home sales as well. We'll see if uh, the the good news on housing continues into pending home sales uh, tomorrow, month over month. And then Friday, 
we have GDP, all important GDP, and anemic. We're still in the ones, folks. This country cannot grow out of this recession that it's in. This we're in a recession right now, folks. A recession is always a backward-looking thing. It's like going down the uh, uh, you know the turnpike in New Jersey and passing an exit and looking in your rearview mirror, saying, "Oh, we should have got off there." We're already in a recession. Um, but uh, an anemic, you know, 1.9 percent if it comes in GDP at 1.9 percent is horrible news. Uh, so it'll be interesting. To see what the market uh, does. If we come in at 1.9% or below, I call it 1.8% or below, the market goes lower. And that SPX 1400 level that I've talked about recently uh, might be in danger. Talked about 1430 being a beachhead. We breached it. We had a good bull put spread on SPX here at Topkin Options. It's very profitable. And I, th I see 1400 as the next beachhead. And it, it'll probably get breached if our GDP comes in below this. If it surprises to the upside, Look at uh, the market to go up and rally and look at uh, the dear leader using that as good news. And then University of Michigan con Consumer Sentiment, that's always a, a market mover as well, so keep an eye on that for uh, Friday. Okay, got to run. I'm actually heading up to New Jersey today, uh, uh, speaking uh, to uh, some heavies at Johnson & Johnson, so I'm going to be able to get a, a nice inside look at what's going on in some uh, consumer cyclicals. Okay, happy hunting. Make sure you hedge, and I'll see you with uh, tomorrow's market sit rep.